Hello and welcome to another installment with me, Alicia. Today we're going to discuss about uterine fibroids and the effect it has on pregnancy and fertility. Uterine fibroids, also known as leomyomas or myomas, are non-cancerous growths of the uterus that often appear during childbearing years. Uterine fibroids are associated with an increased risk of uterine cancer and almost never develop into cancer. They can grow on the uterine wall and push out into the bladder, bowel, or intestine. They can also grow within the uterine wall or even project from the wall of the uterus on an narrow stalk into the uterine cavity. Fibroids range in size from seedlings and detectable by the human eye to bulkimesis that can distort and enlarge the uterus. They can be single or multiple in extreme cases expanding the uterus so much that it reached the rib cage. Many women never even know they have uterine fibroids. If symptoms do exist, they may include painful periods, prolonged and heavy menstrual bleeding, uncomfortable urination, pelvic pain, infertility, and miscarriage. No one is certain what causes uterine fibroids, but changing estrogen levels seems to play a part in their growth. When estrogen levels are high as a result of pregnancy or contraceptive pill, for example, the rate of fibroids growth increases. About 20% of women of childbearing age have uterine fibroids, but they are not usually found in women under 30 years old. They rarely appear in young women before they begin menstruating. As the women approach menopause and her estrogen level decrease, uterine fibroids are likely to shrink or almost disappear. Apart from being a woman of reproductive age, no other risk factor for fibroids have been found. So how do fibroids affect fertility? There is an evidence that fibroids are associated with subfertility or reduced fertility. They have been linked with an increased risk of miscarriage in the first and second trimester and an increased risk of premature delivery. Fibroids have also been linked with a reduction in the success rate of fertility treatments. However, there is lack of agreement on exactly how and why this is so because some women go on to conceive and have successful pregnancy despite having relatively large fibroids. One theory is that the fibroids distort the uterus in a way that affects conception, while another theory is that the ability to carry pregnancy is impaired because the fibroids affect the blood flow. Fibroids alone probably won't cause fertility problems in less than 3% of women. This is applies to you and then your doctor may advise you to continue to try to conceive naturally for up to 2 years unless you are over 35 years of age. In this case, you are better off seeking treatment sooner rather than later because fertility tends to rapidly decline with age. There is also a lack of evidence on whether surgery helps women with fibroids to conceive and go on to have a successful pregnancy, as to ways on preventing fibroids from growing or recurring. Unfortunately, there is currently no known method. That's it for this installment. Be sure to join us again for more info and tips. Don't forget to subscribe to my personal blog. This is Alicia signing off. Please leave a comment, rate my video, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Bye now!